I am back with a super exciting braces update for you guys. It seemed like that much had changed, so I stopped doing updates as often because I felt like every time I took you guys with me to the orthodontist, I was just getting maybe next time, maybe next time. But I'm super excited to share with you guys what happened on my last visit. And I'm going to be inserting some of the clips of things that happened while I was at the orthodontist as well. As soon as I arrive at the orthodontist office, the first thing I do is check in and then I will go wash my hands, brush my teeth, and rinse with Listerine. They provide these really nice pre-pasted toothbrushes at my orthodontist office. They have drawers full everywhere of a bunch of different colors. So when I come in, I just go wash my hands like I said, um, and then I'll grab one of these out of the drawer and I just run it under the water and then I start brushing and that's when the toothpaste will like activate and it comes out then sometimes once i'm seated and they take out the wire they'll let me go floss which is so nice and i can't even begin to tell you guys how much i didn't fully appreciate the freedom of just being able to floss whenever i wanted before i had braces because now when they take the wires out and i get to floss like normal i don't have to use my like that thread one or i don't have to use the specific flossers it's just it's so nice and I honestly feel like that's one of the things that I'll be most excited about doing once they are off. So during this visit, we actually took out the wires, replaced them with a thicker or stronger wire, but not only that, we actually moved around some of my brackets. So he took off, I think it was about six, and then repositioned them. So this time when I went, it was a little bit let me not lie to you. It was a lot of it painful. It really felt like I got my braces all over again because with the new positioning, it was really pulling on them and it was just a different type of discomfort, I would say. So I had gotten kind of used to like the aches and pains of it in its usual areas, but now that they were removed, it definitely was an unpleasant experience again. I still have my overbite. My bite will never be perfect um i'm going to go ahead and insert some a little snippet from when i was at the orthodontist office so you can kind of hear some of our discussion I'm going to reposition other brackets okay so that is what i am getting ready for okay. there's going to be three four five that we're putting back on oh so i'm going to put this in your mouth and then cut those teeth so we can come and put those brackets where they need to be okay I have one more visit that I have to go to. That should be the last one before my braces come off. Now, he's told me that before, so I'm giving it probably like one or two more visits before they come off, but they're coming off so soon, guys, and I am so excited. Um, we definitely have done this for a long time. While there are still things that aren't perfect, they need to come off. Um, you run the risk of di permanent discoloration and just different problems by leaving them on for a long, long time. So I'll be getting my teeth whitened. I will still be going once a month because now I will have a retainer and you guys can definitely come with me for that too. And I can kind of keep you updated on like sensitivity and things after I get my braces removed. So it's not the end of the journey. It'll just be changing a little bit. On this video, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys could leave any questions that you have for anyone with braces down below. It could be things like, if you have more questions on the bands, what you should use to floss, what foods you should eat, anything at all that you wanna know, anything that you guys wanna know about me, my journey, or just braces in general, please leave it below because I'm also going to be doing a Q&A video all about braces and my orthodontic journey. Uh, I also have another video coming up this week with the progress that we've made so far. I'm posting that Q&A video very soon. I am back full time now and I'm going to be on a regular schedule. So I can't wait to see you guys on a more regular basis and I hope you follow me through that journey. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.